that hybrids exist and may be walking among us in some I hope form so. or fashion. Yeah. I think that they're trying to, I think that part of the agenda, and this is just a personal opinion, okay, but I hear from people that the the evidence seems to point this way. People that are serious people that I know that, you know, we're talking doctors, scientists, and, you know, people with, you know, parents in the judicial system and stuff like that, believe that they're hybridized. And, and some of them, you know, have weird stuff like, you know, prehensile tails that were cut off at birth, um, you know, arcane knowledge that they should have or abilities. And my feeling is, is that perhaps some of the DNA farming that was going on was to try to create a less warlike human that's maybe more like them, that's maybe going to be closer to being uh, able to help people understand that we are a risk to ourselves. Um, you know, I'll change my attitude as soon as, uh, you know, a UFO comes and threatens us with nuclear weapons. Okay. I'll, yeah, I, I, I will, currently, I'll cry uncle because that is not cur happening. Cur it's currently human against human. Yeah. Currently we are the aggressors. Yes. We chase after UFOs and try to shoot them down. The Iranian we... case is 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 proof of that. The Russian cases are proof of that. The Russians, after George Knapp also brought these files back that said that the Russians shot upon these things. They kinetically engaged these things uh, for a while and then said stop because they had lost uh, up to twelve pilots and said. They, they put out a memo saying that these things have incredible, incredible capacity for retaliation. Do not. But they engage. haven't really. They, but they, they will. They will protect themselves. But they They'll have never but attacked what, yeah. us. Now there are cases like there's the, you know there there's the one in Brazil, the Colaris case. And, and there's some other cases that are out there that appear to sounds maybe, more you know, human. It sounds very human. Little Doesn't tiny UFOs so that shoot laser human? beams at pe the townspeople, right? In a little right. village in the middle of nowhere. And then now the recent thing that's been coming from uh, uh, Peru, uh, yeah. where they, they looked like, yeah, where it looked like a green goblin flying on a you know, anti-gravity surfboard jet, jet type pack, thing. Yeah. Hoverboard. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this again, you know, apparently the one girl that they tried to take and they failed. And, and I'll tell you, I don't think that, you know, if an ET is going to abduct you, they're not going to fail. They're going to get you. Okay. No, this they girl, walk grabbed they her. goddamn walls. <laughs> I know. Well, they grabbed this <laughs> girl and they're <laughs> trying to take her away on this hoverboard out of back to the future. And the guy failed, you know, the little girl was able to fight him off. And she said that she heard the two entities arguing and one was arguing in, in pit, like bad Spanish with an American accent. <laughs> and the other guy was speaking in Spanish. So this sounds like to me like an op. And I don't believe that that's our visitors. You know, I don't think that they're going to speak so in any language. They speak telepathically, you know. Well, actually, he be, he beat me to the point. Um, hmm. Do you think that do you think that my labs exist? I think that's probably a human thing. I think they're well, you know, yeah, that, they're, so they're the, copying. So more, yeah, yeah. Well, well, even you know, it goes back to and, and I, you know, apparently there was that warning that Werner von Braun gave: beware the military-industrial complex, and um, and I think that. Uh, I think that uh, perhaps this is us trying to blame something on our visitors that we're doing ourselves. I mean, I believe that we have probably, I hope after 70 some years that we've had some success in reverse engineering some of this technology. And of course, you know, we, uh, Nikolai Tesla and, and, and uh, 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 
and Townshend Brown was working with with uh, anti gravity ideas way back in the 1940s. So you know, I think that we probably have a capacity now where we could falsify uh, alien uh, type stuff like that, and uh, that maybe they want to blame it on the ETs so they can keep doing their bad stuff. That's my feeling. I mean, maybe there's bad ETs that are working with the military. I can't explain my labs really, but that's my yeah, personal idea. Yeah, no, you don't. Idea. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, honestly. Um, so, um, I did. Uh, I wrote something to you in the private chat. Uh, so we're actually right. going to take a quick break here. And uh, for anyone uh, that is watching on um, X. Uh, you will have to uh, come over to YouTube uh, to finish uh, the program. Um, uh, unfor- you know, we have so many people that are watching on Twitter, but um, Twitter is, uh, uh, th- it's not a platform that, um, it's not like YouTube where, you know, they pay their creators. So um, what I'm doing now is, uh, you know, the first half of the show will be on Twitter, but um, for the second half, you'll have to jump over on YouTube or Rumble. Um, so uh, just search uh, Total Disclosure and uh, we'll be right back, guys, uh, in just a brief moment. After break. <laughs> Introducing the ultimate cognitive enhancement solution, Biomind. Today's video is exclusively brought to you by our sponsor, Dentia Herbals. Unlock your brain's full potential with a powerful blend of nine meticulously selected plants and mushrooms, each backed by peer-reviewed research for their cognitive boosting benefits and safety. Adentia Herbal's formula combines organic full-spectrum powders and potent standardized extracts, ensuring that you receive the optimal concentration of each ingredient's cognitive enhancing compound, carefully selecting the most desirable parts of each plant and mushroom to create a harmonious blend that supports your mental clarity and focus. But that's not all. They infuse each bottle with personal intention of improving the lives, the minds, and overall greatness of each of their customers. Because of their commitment to your well-being every step of the way, you're gonna get an exclusive 25% off your order via www.adentiaherbals.com using our code total disclosure at checkout. All the links will be in the description or on the screen. All right, so we're back, and now we're exclusively on YouTube and Rumble. Um, so hopefully uh, people come back over here and onto the YouTube. Uh, that is the game plan. So um, we had over 300 people watching, um, and oh, cool. I, I hate – 
Yeah, I hate to I hate to take it off of uh, uh, Twitter, but Twitter just doesn't they don't do anything for content creators. It's just it's it's it, you know you hate to do it, but um, it is what it is. So um, anyway, uh, we we're talking about um, s- certain cases and us engaging uh, UFOs and how they don't they won't they won't engage us because uh, uh for some reason um and it seems do you think that it is a, it is benevolence or indifference because there is a difference <laughs> there is a fine line between the two there's a difference i like to well okay free will all right we have it sometimes it goes out of control with us probably but uh, there is free will. And, and if you look at humanity, you know, people will say about ETs, they'll, they'll call a whole race evil, right? And, and you can talk to Barbara Lamb and she can kind of set you straight on that. You know, she had like this wonderful tete-a-tete with this tall reptilian that, that uh, manifested in, in her living room. And, and they had a long conversation because she was confused. You know, she'd been watching David Icke and, and, and you know, had people that uh, had that question. But uh, right. I, I think that right. uh, that there's, there's probably bad actors out there. We have our pirate, you know, our robber barons and our pirates to this day. And uh, unfortunately, but uh, but you know, I, from what I see. Uh, I, I do think that the benevolence, that the benevolent entities seem to be in charge uh, because here we are, it's, you know, 70, what, seven years since Roswell now. And, and he, here we are, we're still our own greatest threat. Um, I'll, I'll go back to that again, that, that uh, you know, we have never had a threat from ETs. Uh, mutilation cases, I'm seeing that pop up. Well, I don't know. We mutilate cows too. It always seems yeah. to happen in yeah. areas where there's where the, where where it's downwind of our nuclear test sites, right? So yeah. maybe they're check maybe they're checking for for you know how bad we've destroyed our atmosphere and and uh, a, a cattle mutilation is another mammal and you know and and we eat them. So so that that would be my explanation for cattle mutilations. Right. So, uh, and, and, and as and, far as human yeah. relations go, you know, I mean, okay, the closest thing to that I've heard is the Peruvian thing that's going on where they were trying to take the faces off this little girl that, that they were unsuccessful in, in abducting said that these guys that were speaking and speaking in broken Spanish, uh, that they tried to take her face off. It almost sounded like an right. organ collection, like, like they were trying to, like there were some bad, bad people that were doing some bad stuff for possibly rich people that can afford that sort of thing. I don't know. Face transplant, you know, yeah. I, but, but uh, I, maybe that's where it, it's coming from. And, and these guys are, you know, they're just some bad wing out there in, in, in government or above government, uh, private sector world where, you know, where where they're they're doing this stuff and trying to blame it on our visitors, uh, but so far I I haven't seen any human mutilation stuff. I've I've heard anecdotes about people seeing limbs and flying saucers, and I I, I don't know how to address that. Uh, all I really have to go by is the cases that I've had, and and there's a lot of them, and uh, it seems like they're trying to understand our world like nature the duality of mankind of humankind where we're able to write love sonnets and symphonies and 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 you know we gave the universe the beatles and bach and and picasso and rembrandt and and yet here we are at this late uh stage in our you know evolutionary development and we're we're still uh, our worst enemy it's like the old pogo cartoon by Kelly, uh, we've seen the enemy, and he's us. And 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 I think that that you know, I I have that cartoon over here, you know, because it uh, it's for me it rings true. 
Uh, and I think that there is a concern for us 